I'm going to start making some homemade diesel fuel. You know, I got my shed cleaned up a lot better. I still got to clean the stuff on the top of these totes and my workbench and stuff. So I'm going to show you a improvement I did. On my old video, you could see on my profile, or there's a link down here for all my homemade diesel fuel videos, is uh, this mega filter. So what this is, is I did originally have this barrel sitting over top of the hole of the tote. So the oil would go down and go in the tote, but in case this overfilled because it got clogged up with dirt, the oil will come off the barrel and go into this funnel and go down into the tote. What happened once before is the bed sheet got so clogged up with dirt and crap that it overflowed and spilled oil in my shed. So what happened was I was running my bulldozer. I didn't check it for a while and I didn't know it was overflowing and I spilled about three gallons. It's, it happens when you're making homemade diesel fuel. It's going to happen. One day the barrel overflowed and another day this hose came apart. Even though it's not hooked on to anything, it's just pumping into the barrel. Just something I guess clogged up in the line and popped that apart one day. But kitty litter works really well to clean up oil. Now to explain in detail what's going on here. This tote is raw motor oil I get from local garages. It's been sitting in here for about two weeks. That allows the water and dirt and everything to settle to the bottom of the tote. And this hose with a piece of metal on the end is about five inches off the bottom of the tote. I usually put the battery charger on 1.5 amps at 6 volts so this pump runs nice and slow and then I can set the timer for how long I want it to run. 